No basic zone. What's good, stitching? Welcome or welcome back to another day in the Stitch Live. So, I know, another vlog. Another vlog? Really? Another vlog? I know, I literally just uploaded a vlog yesterday, but I had no video, and I'd rather give y'all a vlog than make y'all miss a day. So, here we are. So, before we start today's vlog, it's going to be a day in my life. Make sure you guys leave this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to join the Stitch Gang down below. We're on the road to 8K. Make sure you all subscribe down below. And don't forget to also follow me on Instagram at the Stitch Live. So, let me catch y'all up. What's going on, right? I literally left work. I have like some regular basic clothes on. So I left work, drove to the mall because I need to make a return in Zara, right? I have some sugar honey iced tea. I forgot my camera jam. I have this bag from Jamaica, literally, that my dad just brought up. <laughs> but I put my Zara return in the bag. I also have my Canon GX7 in this glove, literally a glove wrapped with a rubber band in here as well because I'm going to try to see if I can go to Micro Center this um, electronic store to see if they could put screws in there because literally the screen is falling out like it's falling out so another reason why my really my life is in shambles girl so I figured I start the vlog bring y'all along and I also want to show you guys my bathroom since that's technically completed now so we're gonna just put it all in one vlog so we're not missing a day so let me head to Zara I literally just saw Kendra she I think just had to make a return as well so I know that line is kind of long, so I'm just going to go ahead and bring my behind in there now so I can get it over with because the parking lot is crazy. It's the first day of the sale. Yes, I've already placed my order, but I just want to see what's in there, but I really need to make this return. So let's go. Oh, I hate when somebody gets out at a closer spot and I'm already parked. But when I tell you this parking lot is crazy, it's crazy. But Zara, we coming, but we coming. It's not terrible in here, but listen there's people in here still it's not everywhere yet so it's just starting to is that the line oh my god look at the line y'all oh my god i gotta join that oh no all right i'm in the line got my stuff to exchange it's not too bad honestly but i'm in a separate line so that's the line not too bad but it's a little longer than this one So I just put my bag in the trunk. I'm about to go to Micro Center now. Zara wasn't too bad. I feel like people are either not off of work as yet or maybe they just got everything online. Because when I tell y'all, I was on that site. Well, I was on the app at 8.55 p.m. last night. My cart was already curated from the day before. I was even modifying it, my cart at work <laughs> in the day before the sale started. And when I got on that app, half my cart was sold out. So I don't know what happened. I don't know who beat me to it because I was ready. Everything was inserted. My card was already in the app. Everything was already in that. But they beat me to have the stuff in my cart. But what I realized is um, some of the things were staying out of stock. But then when I checked on the item again, it was in stock. It's one of the pairs of shoes. I'll probably do a Zara haul whenever, like a Zara sale haul whenever my stuff gets here. But one of the shoes that I, ordered, that I was trying to order said it was out of stock. It was no longer in stock when I went to try to like check out my cart. And then when I checked on it again, the size was in stock. So I was able to order those shoes. I would need them. I think I need them. They're like really staple pieces, pair of shoes. But I don't know. I feel like the app was glitching just a little bit. But I made my return. I also got a faux leather jacket. I love Zara's faux leather jackets. I'll show you guys it when I get home. But I've had, I had two. I had a green one and I had a blue one that you guys have probably seen me wear all the time in the fall. And the leather started falling off. So I had to throw those away when I was doing my spring cleaning. So I bought a black one. I've never owned a black leather. And I feel like that's an essential in your closet. So I'll show you guys that when I get home. And I also bought my mom something because her cart was empty. Like she, there was nothing that she wanted in her cart. Everything was gone. Everything that she wanted in her cart was gone by the time she got on the app. 
So I got her something that um, she wanted that was in store. But enough chit chat and I'm thirsty. Let's run to my Kristen. I'm praying that these, um, they're not called Geek Squad. Geek Squad is Best Buy. I'm praying that these Micro Center peeps can fix my GX7 because I'm gonna need to buy a new vlogging camera and I'm not ready for that yet. I'm not ready. So I actually took my GX7 out of the glove to show y'all. Look at this. Oh, it's like, chow. <clears throat> I'm just over it. I don't even, I'm, I'm not gonna touch it no more. Let me just bring it inside, y'all. Mm -mm. No, I'm actually here to hopefully get help with my camera. We don't service cameras. No? Unfortunately, yeah. And the view cameras. What is it? This TV is nice. So nice. Back home, I'm no Prezi, I'm Obama. I condone the drama. I turn down Madonna. Do you need pajamas? Yeah. Stay in the night, girl, you promised it. I hide in the cave like Osama did. I'm blowing the bag in the diamond district. You need me like dollars that are owed to you. Yeah. Money and me are the same, but I just don't fall for you. Yeah. Run me your body, I put a range on the road for you. I don't know what you were told, but I ain't mad at you, baby. If I sent you, I mean to a thing, boy, you crazy. Diamond and the rough, you look as good as Oprah's book. I just wanna take you. different marks with the mark too and it comes with the lens it's a camera it comes with a zoom lens 45 battery charger and battery pack okay so basically just the basics all right not bad yeah i have one right. okay so micro center apparently does not service cameras um i could also kind of tell based on um, can y'all please stop i'm trying to put a vlog here it's always something and they happen to be right next to my car love that hold on okay they stopped it before i got in the car love that and close the doors and do not trust people um what i was saying is they don't service cameras and i realized this by the way he was trying to flip the screen i'm like no 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 no, no. let's not make this situation any worse than it already is but um he was telling me well, he basically just put in the Google search Canon GX7 screws. Yeah, I probably don't care about this, but I'm sorry. Anyway, and apparently they popped up on eBay. So when I searched, well, I just looked in Amazon because that's where I purchased my last um, screws to fix the camera. But that seller is no longer selling it. I think I've told you guys this before. So he found some on eBay. So I took a picture. I'm going to go home and see if I can order them on eBay. Never ordered on eBay before. Hopefully all goes well. And fingers crossed I can fix it myself. If not, I'm going to need to buy a camera. So that's what I was doing. I went to look at the Canon M50. I was thinking about that or that Sony camera that everyone has now. I just like that blurring effect. It's beautiful. I think it's the Z something. Um, but hopefully we could just fix the camera so we don't have to spend any more money. Okay? This YouTube life is this YouTube life is expensive. This content creator life is expensive. But I knew this. I'm like, what? Three cameras in? <laughs> we move. Let's go home now. <laughs> when I say I just turned the camera on, bro, I just turned it on. But let me just show y'all because they're cutting the lawn outside, cutting their lawns outside. Um, but I want to show y'all the jacket that I picked up from Zara. So let's make this quick. It was, it's a black full leather jacket. I paid $49.50 for it. I didn't actually pay that. I swapped out some jeans for this. So yeah, let me show y'all so we can move. And don't mind my room per usual, but it's really cute. This is a faux zip, but these two are actual, actual, actually functional. And I actually had this exact same jacket in blue, but um, I had to throw it out because the the leather started to just fall apart after like four years. It served me a long time though. So yeah, this is it. Real cute. Never had a leather jacket, so I'm happy to finally have one. It has. Is this gold? I feel like it has brass hardware brass and some silver yeah yeah 
yeah, yeah, yeah. I also got a package in the mail. I know what it is. So let's open it real quick. Not it coming out of his packaging, child. Oh, I don't like how this box looks. It's probably because it was tossed around in here, but let me put it back in there for presentation purposes. Okay, Brandon. My other stuff came in a little. I mean, the item is totally fine. It's just a box, but. Brandon Blackwell, black owned business, Jamaican owned business. So, y'all probably like, girl, what did you get? He had a sale last week, and I've always wanted one of these. And I was going to get one from a designer brand, but we even love what we love more than a designer brand is a black owned designer brand. So, I picked it up during the Sale. I should do an opening for TikTok, but I love y'all. So, y'all going to get it first, okay? Y'all going to get it first. TikTok probably never going to get this unboxing because it is wrapped. Unless, oh, I might be able to, I might be able to finesse it, y'all. I might be able to finesse it. Oh, let me see. If I slip it out this way. Ooh. Ooh. What is it? This is really cute. I was torn between the pink. I really wanted the, I think it was the green, but that was sold out, girl. It's a key pouch. And you pull that off. And then how does this come out? You pull that down. I don't know if I'm going to do a TikTok. I probably won't. Let's just leave it as that. Or maybe I will, but I'll just disregard those in the video. So it's a key pouch. Has one, two, three, four, five, six slots. Real cute. I'm going to go with that, y'all, because they're mowing, and that is really painful to hear cute 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 did you oh guess who's back after some hours i've made dinner i made some cilantro chicken tacos and just made a little lemon drop actually i'll insert the picture slash video whatever i took on and i put up on instagram i'll put it inserted here it was good i just i was actually missing the lemons and the simple syrup but i had limoncello so I made it work and I had some jalapeno lemonade so from Trader Joe's so it's kind of like a spicy lemon drop it worked out it worked out but yeah I made that and I, had, I used sky bar to make that as well um but yeah had a good little dinner but I want to come back on here and show you guys what actually fits in my Brandon Blackwood key pouch it's really cute this I think is made of vegan leather it's actually not real leather I thought it was well no I didn't well, I thought it was before I ordered it. And then once I ordered it, I looked up the details and realized it was vegan leather. Not mad at it anyways, because vegan leather, listen, can't hold you down for a little while. My toe bars are in great shape. But I went ahead and put the majority of my keys in here. I have three keys in here and my key fob, my Nissan key fob fits in here as well. I took the case off. Um, but I was very happy that my Nissan key fob fits in here because girl, to have two separate keys, I don't, I don't have time for that. It does require a little extra strength to close, but it does close. So I'm going to be using this. Moving forward, let's see how long this lasts me. Not going to lie, I do feel kind of weird without like my without my keychains and stuff from like states and countries, but it's fine. I just need to fit my protection in here. Um, it's a Mata key chain. <laughs> if I can fit it in here, fing fingers crossed I can fit it in here. If you know, you know, girls, you got to stay protected, okay? But yeah, I wanted to show you guys that. But I did say that I also wanted to include the finished bathroom in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and compile some videos over the last month of showing you guys my bath what my bathroom looked like before. Crazy. Keep in mind that this house was purchased in, I want to say, 19, probably like 1993. And we do have two bathrooms. This one is the main bathroom. So this bathroom hasn't been renovated since the house was bought, to my knowledge. Or it hasn't really been renovated a lot since the house was, house was bought, to my knowledge. But the downstairs bathroom has been. But we don't use that because it's all the way on the third floor. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and insert clips. Just keep that in mind. You see that? See the bathroom? Cause uh, yeah, it was it was given old. Um, but we made it work because it's hard to kind of like do what we did, being that you need to use the bathroom on an everyday basis, two times a day sometimes. So you know it's hard. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind. We just had to literally move downstairs to get this done. Um, <laughs> And that's why you guys weren't getting videos. Enough chatting. But yeah, just keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and insert clips featuring what the bathroom looked like prior. I'm also going to insert clips of like a shopping and day-by-day -day process. It was supposed to take nine days. It took a month. Not going to get into that into this in this video. Don't even want to get into that. Don't even want to give that my energy at all. But we're just happy it's done. Finished product turned out really nice. But the process, 10 out of 10, do, do not recommend the company whatsoever. But again... I'm gonna go ahead and compile some videos. Enjoy the little clips. see the finished project y'all ready to see the finished bathroom are you guys ready to, rude disturbing <laughs> are you guys ready to see the finished bathroom keep in mind that we still have to put some portraits on the wall um but it's basically ready so why wait why wait let me just go ahead and reveal it five four three two one insert clip <laughs>
isn't it giving lux isn't it giving hotel vibes isn't it giving oh my gosh yes it's beautiful absolutely beautiful so as you guys saw we have marble bathroom now with gold accents gold touches um it took a while as i mentioned who is walking the dog it took a while it took longer than we expected they promised us nine days it took a month and like the three days but we're just happy it's finished a lot of things that you guys saw decor wise will be featured in my amazon shop i purchased a lot of them on amazon um my mom really wanted marble and with gold accents but i was basically like in charge of decorating still need to find some more portrait like things to put up on the other side of the wall but it's basically done so i just figured i'd um go ahead and share that with you guys in this vlog girl so again all the things that majority of the things that i purchased were can be found on amazon including the lights including the shelves um the tray that you guys saw on the actual sink were from target so i'll include those Ooh, i'll include those as well but definitely check the links below if you guys were interested in anything um but that being said once my canon gx7 is fixed you're getting a lot of shower contents as soon as i figure out how to film in there with all the fog and all that stuff from hot water girl but yeah the shower is basically basically complete i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was quick and i was short but i wanted to give you guys something that want to leave y'all without a video for friday so i don't know it was quick no it was short but i hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless comment down below and let me know how you guys are feeling the new bathroom we've been loving it loving it um the shower does have a detachable shower head and then the other part actually stays on i didn't like get a full video of that but you guys will see that in upcoming shower content bathroom content videos so be on the lookout for that but if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave your big thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel down below down below down below down below and share this video with one of your friends and be sure to also follow me on the gram at the stitch life and until sunday's video i love you guys and i'll see you guys all later make sure you're all caught up because once i fix this camera girl i'm back kicking out a whole bunch of content okay I do film a lot of videos on my sit-down cameras, but my GX7 is like just my easy camera. So once we get her back to normal, once we fix her up, stitch her up, we good to go. But I'll see y'all later. Bye.